I'm Staff, and um, I work for Terrier in Data61, and want to talk about cloud-optimized geotiff support in Terrier, which I've been working on, and not quite there yet. So cloud-optimized geotiffs, <coughs> quick introduction. It's like preparing a raster to have many internal overviews, like zoom levels, and you can have it in a bucket and make range requests and just get part of that big data set on your web map. Um, so you just say, I just want this little mid middle bit of the massive data set, please, and there you go. Uh, what's Terrier? It's like an open source framework for building web mapping data portals, so just very quickly. Um, we've got a 2D mode that uses leaflet and a 3D mode that uses seasonal. Um, so how we currently get raster data on a map, mostly we have rasters sitting on servers served up by GeoServer as WMS services. So we get a picture of the data in the client. Uh, the future with COG support is we'll have rasters sitting in buckets and we get the actual pixel values in the client and then we can do stuff with it. Um, so here's some cool features that we've managed to get working in our um, testing branch. It's not yet in main. Uh, we can overlay COGS on terrain. So that's just a sentinel tile of uh, Bullaroo. Um, and we can do stuff with composite COGS. So in this config here, I'm pointing to a separate TIFF in, um, on S3 for each of the bands. So we can then bring that together. And you notice down the bottom where it says styles, I can define a couple of different style presets. So in this next one, you can see that same composite raster I'm displaying as NDVI or as true color. So we can basically do band maths in the client. Um, and here's the other thing that I've managed to get working with Leaflet, but not yet in Terrier, is just to be able to like reclassify rasters on the fly, depending on user input. So this is an elevation model and um, kind of simulating the tide height there and showing where the um, water line would be. So how does our COG support work? and uh, what can't we do yet. Um, basically, we need to interpret the current viewport into what piece to request from the COG resource. Uh, we need to retrieve these tiles, reproject the data, and add it to cesium or leaflet. So there's some complex maths and optimizations required for that. And um, so the problems, why haven't we got there yet? When I submitted this, I thought I would have it done. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, so one of the big issues is we've got two separate code paths for our 2D mode and our 3D mode, which is really inefficient. So it's working in our um, test branch, but we don't want to stick with that because basically it's going to make it every new feature we want to develop take twice as long. So Cesium uses imagery providers, and you can basically place anything on the Cesium globe, um, but leaflet, uh, leaflet layers have to conform to like uh, Web Mercator tiling scheme. So it's quite a different approach basically between the two. Um, we're using two uh, libraries, like really building on a lot of other people's work here. So I'm using GeoRaster layer for leaflet um, on the 2D side. Um, and that's a really comprehensive library developed by Daniel Defer before. And TIFF imagery provider as well for the, for the Cesium side. So both of these um, libraries have got issues reprojecting on the fly. And of course, that's not a trivial thing. So we can understand this is pretty new tech um, and there are, there are still issues. So that's holding us up a bit. And you can see here there's discontinuities between the, the tiles in, um, in the leaflet mode here. So um, what's our path forward? Basically, we want to, I want to refactor it. So I've just got one code path for both 2D and 3D mode. Um, and to do that, I think we want to write a bridge whereby we can display any leaflet layer on the cesium globe and go about it that way. We currently implement that in the other direction in Terrier. Um, so the reprojection issue, either uh, we can wait for Daniel to finish his big uh, reprojection refactor of GeoRaster layer for leaflet, or I could maybe help him. So I would like to actually carve out some time to help him with that. I think that would be in the spirit of uh, the community, um, if I can be useful at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, at this point, it's really worthwhile uh, thanking the wonderful um, Phosphor-G community for these awesome tools that we all build on, because really our work is just building on others. Um, so some other ideas going forward is that we could do is like stack search, find me a sentinel tile between January and March with less than 5% cloud cover, 
and drop it on the map. Or configurable band maps in the UI. These ideas, anyway. <laughs> and you can test our branch. Thank you.